a very good evening my dear students this is for vagdevi college of engineering bollikunta varangal today odevc btech first year second semester mathematics paper so i need to explain in briefly what are maybe the important questions uh, what we have given in the previous and what the questions they got today's examination so as per the question paper part a the first one is right condition for exactness very important condition is in order to say exact it should look like mdx plus ndy equal to 0 and directly you are verifying a condition do m by do y equal to do n by do x state newton law of cooling a direct statement is there define complementary function so while calculating the solution of higher order ordinary differential equation we have two solutions yc and yp yc stands for complementary and it is based on three important cases next what is the particular integral of d square y by dx square plus y equal to 2 so directly you are calculating yp for this so to find out yp you are focusing on right side the right side is a constant term is there so that you can write 2 into e power 0x so you can use e power ax principle in order to get the value define function of exponential order of course it is from laplace transformation so any function f of t is of order of n it is satisfying a condition modulus of f of t less than or equal to some quantity m e power n into t so e to the power of something so that you are going to call it as exponential order of n state convolution theorem directly it is a statement in the laplace transformation what is the gradient of a scalar function it is applicable for scalar and it is simply denoted by del phi and you can write down the definition define curl of a vector function direct question define volume integral and state green's theorem so part a i think it is very easy to have an complete information coming to part b second question evaluate the solution of following differential equation the first bit x plus 2y cube of dy by dx equal to y so normally it is nothing but uh, Uh, dy by dx cannot be calculated directly you are converting into dx by dy so that it is converting into linear differential equation for that you can calculate the answer or else you can convert into mdx plus ndy type also you will get the answer b bit y logarithm of y dx plus x minus logarithm of y dy looking like mdx plus ndy equal to 0 again you are verifying whether it is exact or not it is an non exact differential equation there you are applying fourth method for this third one what is meant by orthogonal trajectory direct definition prove that y square equal to 4a of x plus a is a self orthogonal it's a expected problem and fourth one find the general solution of d square y by dx square plus 2y equal to x square e power 3x plus e power x cos 2x so first after getting yc the yp is nothing but combination of two parts one is e power ax into v and another is e power ax into v same so based on that you split the particular integral into two parts and directly you are calculating its final answer and for this state legendary equation so directly you can give the definition for legender and same problem is given on legender differential equation it is looking like a plus bx whole cube of third derivative and so on directly you convert into cauchy euler equation and you can find out the answer define the inverse laplace transform it is somewhat a, a typical problem in order to get that particular answer first you start with uh, some f of t equal to or some f bar of s equal to tan inverse of a by s plus cot inverse of s by b and applying uh, laplace transformation on both the sides and you are making one type of simplification of course not necessary but uh, you need to use the inverse laplace transformation where you are using multiplication by t principle in order to get your answer 
use the method of Laplace transform to solve the initial value problem. A differential equation is given and it is an expected problem and directly you can find out the solution for this. Eighth one, estimate the angle of intersection of the surfaces. Two surface equations are given along with a point. So, to calculate the angle between two surfaces, you convert those two surfaces into vectors and finally, you are using a formula cos theta equal to a bar dot b bar divided by modulus of a bar into modulus of b bar. You can find out the angle. Show that the vector is irrotational. So, curl of that vector is equal to 0 and directly you are calculating scalar potential for that. Next one, find the divergence of r power n into r bar. You are calculating del of r power n into r bar where r bar is in a positional vector and finding that particular value asking to calculate n value if it is solenoidal. Solenoidal means its divergence value is equal to 0. From that you can calculate n value. Tenth one, evaluate the integral. So, line integral is given where c is the square formed by the lines y equal to plus or minus 2 and x equal to plus or minus 2. This can be done in two different ways. Only they are asking evaluate. Directly you can use the line integral by constructing a square in the two dimensional graph and uh, square is the combination of four lines. You calculate four line integrals and the combination of those four is going to give you the final line integral or else you use the Green's theorem statement. The given integral looking like m dx plus n dy directly you can find out the double integral right side of Green's theorem and you will get the answer for that. Prove by Stokes theorem, it is a direct problem is given. So, directly you can prove that it is equal to 0. And the last problem, verify gas divergence theorem for a vector function is given over the cube bounded by the limits are also given. So, gas divergence theorem first you calculate the right side value and after making that simplification the same type of answer you will get the left side of gas divergence theorem. Almost whatever may be the problems you are getting here for Vagdevi College of Engineering, the problems which were already we presented in the previous video. So, almost you got the same type of questions and expecting the maximum score to all my students. So, wishing you all the best and have a great day. Thank you. This is Dr. Srinivas, Master Academy of Mathematics and Statistics.